What do you think? It's gorgeous. <laughs> High five. Alan, it's not that funny. Everyone uses that pun here, just so you know. I just got it. Welcome back to another episode of The Stinky Life. We are at Gorge du Verdon. Some of you may have seen this place on Pinterest. It's a gorge with this beautiful blue green turquoise water. And you can rent paddle boats, canoes, or an electric boat. Maybe you've seen the paddle board too. But we're gonna rent a paddle boat. It's 20 euro an hour. We could have it up to about four hours, so 80 euro. But we'll see how it goes. You can rent on either side of the river, I guess. And then everyone paddles under the bridge because that's where the, I guess the, the actual gorge is and apparently there's a waterfall up there i don't know if the paddle boats can make it all the way up there but the kayaks and canoes definitely can the weather's really nice um, the sun is shining but then there's a breeze we're here about 10 30. it's not the best time to take photos because the light is washing out the color so we're just gonna kayak for now and then we'll come back and take photos later so yeah, normally during the high season, you need to come before nine, but obviously no, right come now- right at nine. Yeah, come at nine when they open. To get a paddle boat. Because right now it's fine because there's plenty of paddle bo boats available, but during the season, the high season, all of these get taken up really quick. So you can see over there on that side, um, they also rent and then over there as well. But on this side, they have more. And um, one, recommendation that was given to us was rent the paddle boat because your hands will be free so you can take photos and do whatever else and just relax and you're not just like exerting yourself the whole time. However, paddle boats are twice as expensive as the kayak. What we also did this morning before heading out to the gorge is we went to a grocery store and got some snacks. So we got pizzas, we got a little bread thing, we got a fruit and veg platter. We got hummus and some other snacks. So we're gonna bring that out on the boat and just have a picnic for lunch. Uh, for hours? Um, can, can we pay when we come back or do we have to pay now? Uh, you have to say now. Uh, if you don't know, take uh, two hours and if you stay longer. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do a minimum of two hours now. If we um, stay longer, stay we'll, longer pay we'll just pay, pay more. Okay. Card is okay? Yes. Yeah. Merci. Merci. And we don't need a uh, life no, jacket? This one. Oh. Okay. You don't need one, you can have one if you want to. Oh, no, no it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are on the paddle boat. Melissa said I can do the paddling while she puts on her sunscreen. But it's actually pretty nice. It's a lot easier to steer than a kayak, in my opinion, because you have this little, uh, basically this thing to maneuver your, whatever that thing is Rudders? on the back. Rudder, yeah. We're just gonna head this way, going into the gorge. How's it going over there? It's good. <laughs> so that yellow boat over there is the electric boat, but it looks like you have to be guided. Huh? Oh, is it green? <laughs> Color bond, maybe. But we're about to pass under the bridge right here. This is the famous bridge. What do you think? It's gorgeous. <laughs> High five. Alan, it's not that funny. Everyone uses that pun here, just so you know. I just got it. I'm short, so I have to lean back in order to reach the pedals. If I sit back, I just can't really reach it. <laughs> this is the bridge, the, what is it? Pont? Pont de Galata. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Pont du Galetas or something. Yes, that's it. Okay. Anyway, this is the bridge where people get the postcard perfect photos from. But yeah, it's the wrong it. time of day to do it. I think the afternoon would be better. The 
feel like our boat is broken or something. <laughs> like we're paddling pretty, I mean, we're not paddling like super hard, but we're paddling hard enough, but then we're getting passed by all these other boats. Who look like they're paddling like just as fast as us. Or slower. slower. So I don't know if there's something wrong with our the paddle wheel or, or something, but it's pretty cool though. We're just chilling, we're in no rush, so. Made it to the very end. Well, the, almost. The end that the boats can go to. Yeah, there's the yellow buoys over there. That's the end of where the paddle boats can go. So this is the end, but then the kayaks can keep going. We ended up here on this like shallow bank. Good spot as any for a snack. But yeah, our boat did not like to move. We decided to come off onto the bank where we're gonna have some snacks. Into the shade. We left the boat back there. Uh, hopefully it doesn't float away. But it doesn't move very fast. So, you know, that's a plus. <laughs> Otherwise I'm gonna have to go swim after it. All right, food time. Our snack, we got pizzas, we got hummus, and a veggie platter. And a really bad farmer's tan. Dang. <laughs> So I have a tip. So this boat that we got is the orange, red, and white boat. This one apparently seems slower than the yellow and white boat that is being rented from the other side. So if you care about how quickly you go, then get the yellow and white boat. Melissa is a good captain. She yeah. has not crashed yet. Where am I gonna crash into? The rocks. <laughs> Also, this is not a good place for swimming because the water is cold. It's freezing cold. Yeah, like we put our feet in the water for a second and it is it is really cold. So yeah, that's why you don't really see very many people swimming at all. You know, people try to jump in for a second and then climb back out, but I think they realize it's really dang cold. I'm letting Melissa paddle by herself because on the way back, it is like way three times easier at least. So we're pretty much at the highest point of the gorge here, but obviously we're under this little like grotto cave thing, which is pretty cool. Going back, way easier and i think we figured out why we were not moving very fast i think our boat was tilted like this because we're all on the back side but and we, melissa's and now we in didn't the front. have any passengers in the front yeah so melissa's now in the front so it makes it a little bit easier but also we're going downstream so there's that as well you want me to do it huh your legs getting tired yeah i think we might we're standing on top of the Pont du Galetas now, overlooking the gorge. Right now, the sun is, we still need it to move a little bit, but it's not bad. You can see all the kayakers, the paddle boaters, paddle or pedal boaters? Pedal, paddle, paddle boaters. boaters. But yeah, overall that was such a fun experience. Um, it's so unique and just a nice and easy like two hour boat ride down the gorge. How are your legs feeling though? Fine. <laughs> My legs don't get sore really. Good job. <laughs> Dang, Melissa has some navigation skills. <laughs> what did you just use? I just used my compass for probably the first time on my phone <laughs> <laughs> to see which way is east and west so I can figure out which way the sun is setting. Sun is moving. So right now the sun is behind this cliff right here. That's why there's some shadows out here. So apparently the sun is moving this way. We've now driven up to a spot called Ruta de Crete or Crete. This is basically on the top of the gorge. Oh man, we just got out to the very top. Huh? There's a goat. Okay, please don't kick me, goat. What's up, buddy? Hey. Okay, that's uh, yeah, that's a goat. There's another goat coming. Hey, don't sniff me. What's up, buddy? Okay. Okay. 
Yes. <laughs> So I was saying before we got interrupted by the goats that we're here at the very top of the mountain here and yeah I think you can get really good views of the, the gorge from here and yeah a lot of people are here as well. I was also reading last night that in about uh, between 1999 and 2004 they introduced vultures back into the ecosystem here and we just saw a few flying above us right. It's hard to see on camera but they're up there somewhere. On this drive, apparently there are 15 little viewpoints over here. So I think we passed like three or four. This is I think the fourth one or third one. Don't exactly remember, but views are amazing. This part is nice. Um, I don't know what it's called. Belver Belvedere de la Dentaire. Dantair, but this area looks like Yosemite National Park if you've ever been with like the white stone. Oh, it does, yeah. We made it to a spot called Point Sublime. I'm pronouncing it in English version, but it's like the main like spot that there's a whole parking lot, toilets, restaurant, everything. So this is apparently the spot to be. The whole route they creep, it's okay. I mean, the road is pretty unique. It's along the cliffs, but I think if you're gonna go to one spot, come to this spot. But I don't think you have to do the whole route. Like you could have started from the opposite way, right? No, you, I think you have to do the whole route because it's just, I guess you could turn around, but yeah, technically you don't have to do the whole thing, I guess. All right, here's my honest opinion on whether you need to do more than around the gorge and doing like the kayaking or the paddle boating or the any type of water activity. Unless you're really into like mountain landscapes and gorges and if you haven't been to like Yosemite or places like that, yeah, it's probably different and unique. But since we've been to a lot of these places like that, it's not as unique as we had expected. So I would say spend more time on the water because that's that is unique. Yeah, this drive was not as scenic as we had hoped for. But at least we got to see it. Yeah, but if you do do the drive, I would say leave it for late afternoon, mm. like early True. evening, because the sun is too high in the sky right now. Yeah, um, number one, it's hot. Yeah, and I think if later in the evening when the sky starts turning colors, you would have a nice backdrop against the mountains. But right now mm. it's so washed out. Yeah. Enjoying your snack? Yep. <laughs> We've now come back to Pont du Galetas and it's about 3.54, almost 4 o'clock and the sun is still kind of in the same spot so I don't think we're going to get quite the photo that we wanted but that's okay this is pretty good so anyway with that we're going to wrap up our day here at what's this called Verdon Gorge oh, Gorge du Verdon so yeah it was a great day this was an awesome activity I highly recommend adding this to your list on your road trip around Provence so if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and give us a, thumb, a thumbs up. See you next time.